Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For today's recipe, I'm gonna walk you through how I make my chicken milanaise that's beautifully paired with a zesty, spicy salad of bitter greens, jalapeno, sliced red onion, and roasted lemon. Okay, without further ado, let's dive into the recipe. All right, so first up is getting the breading station in order. And to start, you need to blend up some lightly toasted bread in a food processor that should be seasoned with a good pinch of salt, cracked black pepper, and a decent medley of herbs. Basil, oregano, and rosemary were my choice, but just about any combo can work aside from the minty flavors. Once the breadcrumbs are blended and seasoned, toast them for another two to three minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit to help permeate the flavors into the breadcrumbs. This is optional, but a really nice additional touch of flavor. Next, you wanna get the chicken breast in order. So basically, you're going to butterfly the breast except cut all the way through to the end and then double up or even triple up two large squares of plastic film. Put one of the fillets in between the sheets and pound it out with a flat, heavy object such as a pan or heavy sauce pot until it starts to thin out. Try to apply as even a pressure as you can when pounding, otherwise you'll split the meat in various places and it can be quite frustrating if it doesn't come off in one piece. Once the chicken breasts are prepped and ready for breading, grab a medium to large bowl, whisk together the whole egg, milk, salt, and black pepper. Once the breading station is in order, season the dredging flour with a bit of salt and pepper as well, then begin to dredge the chicken in the flour first, then into the egg mixture, and finally generously coat it in the breading mixture. Just be sure to get all the cracks and crevices for an even breading all around. Once the chicken is breaded and ready to go, get a large saute pan on medium to high heat with a decent amount of canola oil in it and begin to pan fry the chicken until they are a really beautiful golden brown color. I would say about three to four minutes on each side uh, should be a good average, but it always depends on the thickness of the meat. Towards the end, add in the lemon halves and turn the heat to low while you mix the salad. For this little side salad that's gonna accompany the chicken, I'm using some sliced red onions, jalapeno, arugula, olive oil, salt, and a good squeeze of roasted lemon to pair beautifully with this crispy milanese. Once it's thoroughly mixed, it's time to plate. All right, so this one is about as straightforward as it gets. Nothing fancy at all. Just place the milanese down first, then down goes the salad on the side, not to cover too much of the chicken. And last but not least, a good squeeze of the roasted lemon to finish. And that's it, chicken milanese with a zesty and spicy bitter green salad. All right guys, so the chicken milanese is done. This video has been, um, has taken quite some time to actually finish. I never got to do the outro when I filmed it. So um, I think it was a few months ago when I actually did it and put it on Instagram. I filmed the, the video, but I never got to do the outro. So finally I'm here um, getting to do it and I wanna run through the flavors and tell you guys how I did. Okay, so first off, very crunchy. 
it has to be super crunchy, almost like um, like a cracker on the outside. That's like signature with Milanese. And then these greens, jalapenos. Mm. So good. Oh, the jalapeno is really good too. Mm. The chicken's super tender. Uh, sometimes when you have like um, like pounded meat or Milanese or like a scallopini, um, the meat can dry out just because it's so thin. It has a hard time retaining that moisture. So if you cook it the right way, really fast, quick, high temperature, you get a beautiful like cracker crust and a really tender, juicy piece of meat underneath. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This dish makes me very happy. Um, actually, a guy that my mom used to date was from Argentina, and that's where I actually learned how to make this, um, you know, the proper way, or the way he taught me how to make it. He's from Buenos Aires, and um, he made just one of the best Milanese. I think he made it uh, beef, pork, and a chicken variation. The chicken I like the best just because it's a little bit more lean, and you know, I just I kind of like that that contrasting flavor where you get kind of a fatty crust, nice cracker crust. Um, you're already frying in the oil, so it definitely has plenty of fat and a nice lean, juicy piece of meat. Mm, and the roasted lemon, that was one thing he taught me as well. Very signature to kind of do a little roasted lemon. Fresh lemon is really good too. Whew, it's getting a little hot outside. So good. I actually ended up using some turnip greens because I just didn't have any arugula on hand. Um, so I got some turnip greens for my garden, which I actually much prefer over the arugula. It has a nice mustard bite to it, a little bit spicy, um, but a different spice that the jalapeno also has to offer. So all around fantastic dish. The onions are great to add another you know, level of the savory flavor. And I could eat this for lunch quite often. Um, you could even make a really beautiful sandwich out of this if you kind of imagine it like that. But all in all, this is a great dish. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for being patient with me. And uh, if you guys like this recipe, please subscribe to my channel. Give it a big old like. Comment down below for future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. I have equipment links and the recipe will be in my description box. So check that out. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later guys.